Hello all. So in this tutorial, we'll see how to create a curved texture on the road in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's create a road using a plane over here. So let's create a road over here and increase its segments over here. Press M for material and let's just assign a normal material that's a road texture over here. Let's assign a road texture over here. So let's assign a texture over here. So let's go into this and let's give a UVW map over here. So before we go with this, let's go into it and set it as 90 degree over here. So X, Y, Z and use a fit option. Also we have this option over here okay so we have just assigned it in this way so right click and convert to editable poly so once you've assigned this stuff let's go into the top view and let's take a line for creating a road over here so let's take a line tool So let's delete this. So once you have assigned this stuff over here, so now what we'll be doing is like scale a bit, select this road, can scale. We have a modifier over here, select the road. We have a modifier called path deform select the path and pick the path and you can move on the path whatever axis you want you can just define those uh, axis over here so if you go on moving this it will move in this way so let's set the axis over here and rotation let's set it to 90 degree over here as a rotation and you can just stretch a bit that's it so if you see now over here in the right manner as you see that we have created this road and with a texture on the curve part can you see this all right so if you off it let's off this first uh, let's delete it and if you want to just increase its more thickness a bit that can be done so let's again select this and let's again go into this and give a path deform take path move to path y-axis and let's set the rotation to 90 so you can just increase its percentage and increase the stretch amount also over here that's what you have created over here so now if you see this this whole thing has been created on the path and if you want to make some kind of animations you can create the railings also if you want to create the railings you can easily create those railings also over here so that can be uh, easily achieved with this stuff over here all right better 
so now you can see it's looking much more thicker over here that's how you can just uh, create this so in this way you can easily create a road on the path and also the texture has been created accordingly so using a path deform modifier so thanks for watching this tutorial